Okay, so I got disqualified from the last challenge because I killed steak sandwich, but I don't care. I'll do it again. Hopefully, I get to kill again today because every time I kill somebody, it's one less person, you know, because they didn't kick me out of the whole contest. I'll be the last one standing. Top sandwich, meatball soup. So I won the last challenge, and that's totally rad, but like, I'm starting to feel bad that I stabbed Club in the face. I just hope I didn't hurt her inner spirit or anything. Here we are again. Only five sandwiches remain in hopes of becoming America's next top sandwich. And from here on out, the competition is getting tougher. As America's next top sandwich, you will be our sandwich representative to the world. And as such, it is important that you are knowledgeable, quick-witted, and clear when you are talking. No, I believe I'm an excellent public speaker. I believe that uh, this comes from my versatility as an actor and the skills that I have. And uh, you'll be able to see it finally. Here, let me give you a little taste. Here's my Jabba the Hutt. I'm Jabba the Hutt. Oh, I am like so quick-witted. Like this one time I was like with my friend and this other sandwich was like making fun of her saying she was fat. And I was like, hello, you are. Ugh. Here's my Samuel L. Jackson. Yes, they deserve to die and I hope they burn in hell. In order to test your knowledge, you will all be competing in America's Next Top Sandwich Game Show, where we will test you on sandwich history, sandwich current events, and sandwich extras. Good luck. Quiz show? sandwich. I'm not really too worried about it. The only crap that you need to know is that PB&J is the best sandwich in the world. So this game show challenge is gonna be so cool, man. Like, I know so much about sandwich pop culture all the healthy sandwiches and like the shelf life of healthy sandwiches and the current trends among veggie sandwiches and health nuts and stuff. Oh man, this is gonna be so rad. All right, here are the rules. I will ask you questions and you will all get a chance to answer. For every right answer, you will get America's Next Top Sandwich points. And for every wrong answer, you will lose points. The sandwich with the most points at the end of the game wins. Good luck, everyone. Here's the first question. The Earl of Sandwich is the namesake of what? Of course, the answer is quite obviously mustard. Sweet, sweet Dijon mustard. Sorry, that is incorrect. We were looking for sandwich. The next question is, a child might carry a sandwich to school in what? Ooh, a recyclable hemp pouch. Uh. Sorry, we were looking for lunchbox. Question three. What is a chip buddy? Ew, a sandwich with a fat bun. Uh. The correct answer is a sandwich with chips or french fries inside. Question four. Mayonnaise, mustard, and butter are examples of what? I'm gonna have to go with lubricants. Oh, that's too bad. We were looking for condiments. Question five. What kind of sandwich might someone eat for dessert? Ooh, an organic sandwich. Sorry, the correct answer was ice cream sandwich. Question six. Chips, fries, and coleslaw are examples of what? Things that make you, like, um, fat? Uh. Ooh, that was sides that accompany sandwiches. Question seven. Doing this to sandwiches has become very popular. Well, it's been recently done to me. Uh, turning sandwiches inside out. Uh. I'm sorry, fun. we were looking for toasting sandwiches. And the final question is, what is a sandwich? Oh, a stale, unnatural sandwich. Again, that is incorrect. The answer we were looking for was anything in between two of anything else of a similar appearance.
We've tallied up all your points, and the winner with zero points is... Meatball! Meatball? Meatball. Hello? You won. Meatball! What? Oh, I'm sorry. I was asleep. I won, and I was asleep the whole time. I don't even know the challenge going on. I was having this uh, recurrent dream where I'm a giant meatball show, and I fly around the world and I eat people. It was so sweet. Oh man, I love that dream. I'm gonna go have it right now. And the loser, with negative three points, is Veggie Sandwich. I'm sorry, we're gonna have to ask you to pack your bread and leave. Whoa, it's a total buzz kill to like, leave and stuff, but oh man, you have not seen the last of Veggie Sandwich. I am so popular among college campuses, kind of like Dave Matthews. He's so cool, and he'll be around forever. This is my Denzel Washington. Hey Tom Hanks, you have AIDS. I'm going to represent you.